right. So this is the infamous Gorgon. There isn't much here, is there? It's definitely factory-like. Let's take a look around. So this is the elevator. There's two elevators. There's one over there. And one over here. I guess we'll take this one, I suppose, since we're already here. I don't think that one goes to somewhere else. But I don't know. Take me back down. Did I just miss? Yeah, I missed the box. Damn it. I have to get it. I have to. It's my looter RPG side that wants to know what's in the box. Probably nothing. And I was correct. More stuff to sell, I guess. General store. There's somebody right there. Let's go talk to him. What's his name? I got supplies if you need them. No one lasts long on Gorgon unprepared. Kahil Chak Chakru. I can't pronounce that. You looking for supplies, stranger? Let's stock up here. If you run low on bullets out in Gorgon's far reaches, there ain't no one around here liable to help you out. Let me know if you're looking for something particular. Good thing for you, I don't really need bullets, but... So this is, this is Gorgon. You mean you came out to this asteroid without knowing nothing about it? <laughs> well, that, <laughs> me that's, too. It's not wrong. I was wild here and couldn't resist. Trouble is, if you wander off to somewhere you oughtn't be, like way out in Gorgon's farthest reaches, odds are slimmer of your bits finding their way to my pockets. If you want my advice, stick close to the Sprat Shack. Unless you fancy having your limbs torn off and eaten. No. <laughs> Give him your best unimpressed look. Uh, thanks, but I can handle myself. All right. You know you better than I do. Just be sure you watch out for the marauders. That's the number one thing. Oh, and the manse. You watch out for marauders, manse, and Charles from accounting, <laughs> and you'll probably be fine. <laughs> Did he just seriously say <laughs> Charles from accounting? That's hilarious. Who's this Charles from accounting? <laughs> Only the meanest marauder on Gorgon, and also anywhere else. That man is crazier than a bag of canids and twice as likely to bite. He will bust your head open like an overripe mock apple if he so much as sees you. I ain't joking. He'll snap you in half like stale bread noodles. Uh, you're making me hungry? Yeah, let's go with that. Sorry. Been a minute since I last ate. Charles from accounting is like... <laughs> Imagine if you took three of the most howling mad marauders you could find and mash them together. That's Charles. So he's a very tough, tap, tough person. <laughs> Gross. Not like that, Hallhead. Metaphorically. Well, I warned you. If you run off and get exploded to death by a madman with a rocket launcher now, that's on you. Uh... Go back to the part about the rocket launcher again. Sure. Okay. He's got a rocket launcher. Is he any good with it? I don't know. Hard to guess how many he's killed, given the explosions tend to obliterate any bodies. That's a good point. I'm joking. No one bothers looking for bodies. <laughs> Look, long story short, you do not fuck with Chuck. Best to avoid the Marauder camp entirely. That's my I like that. on the matter. That rhymes. Uh, okay, good to know. So, about Charles of uh, Charles from Accounting, I really want to know more about this guy. Yeah? Why is he called that? His name is Charles, and he used to work in accounting? Wow. That makes sense. Anything else you needed? Huh, I guess... Uh... I, get, I, I take it that the evacuation alarm isn't urgent? Huh? Oh, you don't gotta worry about that. It's got something to do with that scrapped spacer's choice project from way back. Damn, alarm's been hollering at us for five years if it's been a day. You know, I don't dream anymore. It's all, please evacuate in an orderly fashion. <laughs> uh, should I turn it off? I won't stop you if you want to have a go at it. But so you know, it's going to take more than giving that control terminal a good old-fashioned pummeling. Damn it. I know, because even Von Hoffman couldn't bash it in. 
And I seen that tough son of a gun throw man clean across the sprat shack one time like he were a toss ball. Good to know. So what can you tell me about Project Gorgon? Only that Spacer's Choice shut it down in a big <laughs> hurry. From what I heard, some of their folks got left behind even. Don't seem like the project ended well. Nope, doesn't seem so at all. So, what do you have for sale? Found a pickaxe in the mine like none I've ever seen before. Could ah, be awful useful unique. if you're the violent type. Yep, it is. 6,000. It doesn't do much for me, though. These do. These do a lot. Well, to be fair, I'm looking at it from my perks, obviously. All right. So let's sell. Yeah, let's start with all the junk. I really should have sorted everything out first. All right, we'll sell that. So this is the stealth. Let, uh, I have outfits just in case I need anything. Dialogue. Leadership. Lockpick, engineering and perception, and stealth. Okay, so I'll, I'll keep all of that. And as far as all of this, it's all got to go. Even though some of it's probably useful. I'm not much of a consumable guy, to be honest. So, it's all gone. I need money. And then obviously, the weapons mods need to go. All right, we're good. We're golden. Let's get out of here. Oh, I could steal his stuff. I'm not going to do that, though. Can I, Is this stealing, too? This one right here? Yeah. Man, that sucks. I don't want to steal anything from this guy. It's a very convenient vendor in proximity to my ship, and I don't want to I don't want to take advantage of that. Let's go ahead and look around. Man, I hate that this is locked. I tried. It didn't work. Dude, there's a marauder right there. How did he get so close? So that looks to be sealed. Let's check this one out. Is this stealing too? No, well, that one's... Okay, I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. Whoa, this guy, this has a name. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Kick the automatic. Error. Tilt alarm engaged. Entering emergency reconciliation mode. This unit will now engage. Oh. Calamity. <laughs> Protocol. This unit is currently in wait cycle. Please return later. Calamity. Okay. Have a better than natural day. So? That, that just happened. I wonder what he is. And if he's going to be important later. Give me, oh, I should have sold the ammo. I totally forgot to sell the ammo, didn't I? Oh, well. Take all of that. Ooh, wait a minute. I am so confused. Is this like a teleportation thing? Oh, I thought it was going to hurt me. Let's see if we could go in the other way. No. What the hell is this? This is weird. I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably going to guess that it's like a teleportation thing. That's just a guess, though. Or maybe it's a door. I don't know. I legit don't know. How do I get in there? This guy's head is destroyed. Pick up. Remodeled low pressure helmet? Eh, I'm good. Who's this guy? Marauder crackpot shot? Oh! And. Kaplow! Dude, I'm way too strong for this place. Dude, my health is like ridiculously high, bro. My turn. Thank you for trying. This guy is really strong. If it, oh man, I can't go under there. <laughs> 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 
Wow, that was a hyper hunting rifle. Where's the other guy? Oh, there you are. We just traded hits. Pulse hammer gold. All right, get away, enemy killed. 1,400 damage. That's not bad at all. I'll take it, but I'll just stay with the uh, Hammer of Olympus anyways. It's not like I'm going to need anything other than this weapon that I have in my hands anyway, so... <laughs> There's always that. Which way do I go? Let me check out the map. Yeah, it's, it's what I figured. So I could go... So if I'm looking in this direction, what does it say? Eh, okay, so this just goes around the spot that I just came through. So there's really only one way to go, but... Oh, and up there. Okay, that's interesting. Hold up. Alright. Sorry, I had to fix the audio really quick. It was crackling a little bit in my ear, so I had to fix that really quick. So we got some more Marauders. Marauder Berserker. I wonder where this Charles from Accounting is. You hiding? <laughs> Yeah, you'll be all right. These guys have a pretty healthy amount of health. Where's this other guy? Come here. Where are you going? Oh my god, dude. I literally one-shot everyone here. I'll be taking all of that. Thank you very much. And you, my friend, aren't going anywhere. So let's take a look at this guy's camp. Or these guys camp. Oh wait, there's a cave right there. I definitely want to explore that. But let's check a look, uh, take a look over here. And see if there's anything special or... Nah, I don't see anything. But uh, where, where is this pointing me at? I'm like going straight into exploring. And I'm not even... I'm like forgetting about the main quest. We're gonna go over there right now in a second. I just kind of want to see what's in here. Okay, this definitely goes somewhere. Where is this on the map? So this looks like a dead end. So I guess we I guess we could look around. Yeah, this goes to the other side. So let's let's actually go up there and see at least at bare minimum take a peek and see what we can see up there. You never know what we're going to find. What is this? Some sort of a door that I... Secret hideout. Ah, oh, man, I wanted to read that. Let me see. No, go back. Halt. The passage is exclusive to members of the secret society of Super Science Sidekick. Hey, I got a Super Science weapon. Can I join? To gain access to this sacred... Uh, to gain access to the sacred sanctum, uh, sanctum you must provide... Uh, you must prove you are a true and worthy fan of the... Imitable in nestis blah 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 uh incomparable ace exterminator archibald excelsor <laughs> interested find us at the following locations and demonstrate your worth by the marvelous mustache of exec whatever uh maris walton smc observer observatory virgil sharp gorgon mines Birdie Sharp, HIA Maintenance Entrance, Eustace Kim, uh, Waste Processing Ravine. Okay, so there's literally nothing here. Whoa, that was a creepy laugh. Let's take a look over here. Nothing. Is that back? Where is that? It's like just the perfect angle for me not to be able to see anything. I don't know what that is, but I think we're going a little... We're getting a little too ahead of ourselves. Let's do ourselves the favor. And since I'm pretty sure the main quest is probably going to take us to all of these locations. Let's go ahead and go back. And at bare minimum, at least do the first few portions of this quest before we proceed too far into, into exploration mode, of course. Where is the bike? Did I make a wrong turn or something? Dude, it was literally right by... 
right by where the where we talked to the homeboy at. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name because it was pretty complicated for my little tiny brain. All right, Sprat Shack. How do I get in there? Do I just go around this way? Oh! Shipping and recovery. Sprat Shack. Those laughs are pretty creepy. So there goes a Sprat Rap. Is this an enemy? No. They're kind of cute though, to be honest. Cool. Transition to Sprat cha uh, Shack. Don't mind if I do. I wonder what's in here. Von Hoffman. And here. Let's have a chat. Yes, ma'am. And here I thought uh, we we're gonna have like some enemies. Yes, I do. Just give me a second. <gasps> Not so fast. Oh, I. I hate that I did that. I really do. I really, really hate that I did that. So let's go back inside. This time, not steal anything. Because I don't want to have to kill him. All right, Come Von here. Hoffman. Let's have a chat. All right, inspection time. Look at my eyes for as long as you can without blinking. Starting now. Uh, what? <laughs> Keep looking into his eyes. Good. Look up. Now look down. Uh, look up, look down. <laughs> you have pretty eyes. Thank you. Got them from my mother. You're doing swell. Now, name and occupation. Uh, my name is Duh. Captain of the Unreliable. Good enough for me. You're cleared to pass. That was a sanity check. If you had changed like the others, it'd be in your eyes. You'd also be drooling, cursing, and making a mess of the place. Welcome to the Sprat Shack. You can head on downstairs. So... People change here? What do you mean when pe when you said uh, that people changed? Every day, salvagers and scrappers set out to comb the ruins and make their fortune. The ones who come back, they aren't always the same men or women who left. They change. Never for the better. That's interesting. What happens when people change? First, they get real twitchy and paranoid, shouting at folks who aren't there. Then they smell like they soiled themselves on account of how they soiled themselves. <laughs> After that, they're gone. Nothing but animals wearing human skin. Seen it happen myself. It's never pretty. So is that... Is that like a, like a science experiment that went wrong or something I don't know let me see where am I this is the Sprat Shack the most remote watering hole in the system rule number one no fighting rule number two wipe your feet on the way downstairs <laughs> it's We're random the only hospitable place on this rock I want to keep it that way that's why we have rule number three when people change they stay outside where they belong let me ask you something else. Just don't ask me to dance. Man, that's what I wanted to ask you. So what do you do around here? Bouncer, bodyguard, law enforcer. I make sure the Sprat Shack gets only the highest caliber of clientele. We get a lot of brand loyal corporate types and a lot of cutthroat freelancer types. Both sides have their share of dirty scoundrels. And I hate dirt. Take a shower. Uh, so what kinds of people come to uh, Sprat Shack? This is a sublight bar. So most of our regulars come to plunder the old labs. The facility's locked up behind miles of red tape. So progress is slow. A lot of time to drink and reevaluate. Here, here. And venture out and try again. So what do you know specifically about this big rock we're standing on something bad happened here 
Spacer's choice was developing chemicals. The kind with nasty side effects. Ah, uh, that's probably what makes them change. Number the rest of us ten to one. Either they came from Gorgon, or something draws them here. I don't know which is worse. This place is under a dark cloud, stranger. That's all I know. If you want the history of the Sprat Shack, talk to Lex behind the bar. Good to know. Well, see you around. Watch yourself out there. Thank you, thank you. I, at bare minimum, want to look around just in case there's some unique stuff. That's the only way I would steal. Is if I find a unique item. Because I'm kind of a hoarder when it comes to uniques for some reason. Not so much on this character, admittedly. This guy is kind of a moron, so... He doesn't really do or say much other than the stupid stuff. Bar patron. Are you my smugglers. Sorry? What's back here? Doesn't look like there's any... Oh, we're behind the... Got it. Oh, God, that scared me. I can steal her money. I'm not going to do that, though. Not going to steal anything. Looks like that's everything. There was a sealed door, so I can't progress any further. And this is a dead end. So I guess the next logical step is to look around elsewhere. What's in here? Okay, so this is the bathroom. And I found a vending machine. Not gonna steal that. It's a ring. There's no... Oh. Who are these guys? You're Freddy and Trixie. Bug, Trixie. And worse, a thief. I can't steal what's lawfully mine, you tangle-footed dimwit. <laughs> Bring it up, you two. I've heard more than enough of your shit for one day. Okay, I'm interested. That was my salvage, Trixie. You had no right to it then, and you've no right to it now. Uh, let's let them talk. I risked my life sneaking around Marauders to claim that wreck. And I didn't see your name on it. Now you've done it. Eat fist. All right, that's enough. This is a family establishment. You want to make a mess? You make it outside. But this was personal, Lex. It's a question of salvage. That wreck was gonna make me a fortune. Huh. Let's continue letting them talk. This is... Uh, I want to see where this goes. Now you two listen. This is my place. While you're in the Sprat Shack, you'll sit quietly or I'll forbid you to come here at all. Is that understood? Fair's fair. I'll have a step. And we'll settle this later on our own terms. Ah, it's no good to leave a fight unresolved. If I don't do something, these two are going to be at each other's throats. That's where I come in. Uh, I could even intervene if you'd like. You'd do that for me? Sure. Why not? Uh, sure. It's kind of what I do for everyone. I appreciate it all the same. You'll be paid for your time and expertise, of course. Freddy, Trixie, go on and make your case to the generous stranger. Ooh, we're I'll handling start. this now. Seeing as I'm the one who's been most wronged in this equation. Uh, state your names for the tavern. We're doing this official. Oh, very formal. Or formal, uh -huh. I guess is the better word. Freddy the Scab, freelancer for sublight salvage and shipping. Same as my father before me. <laughs> Junkyard Trixie, also a salvage freelancer, though... I've been at it longer than Freddy. May I first say what an honor it is to stand in your company. Your exploits with Miss Hagen are the stuff of legend. With Miss Hagen? Wait, what? I, I, oh, never mind. That's from the previous quest. I, I thought for some reason I had my mind set on this right here. Uh, glare silently. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Uh, when you're as important as I am, it blends all together. Now proceed. Compliments won't get any favors from me. Let's just glare. Right. Uh, <laughs> where was I? So, oh, that's uh, awesome. just up the road and due east of here, there's a shipwreck lodged in the mountainside, right? 
Uh-huh. I staked my claim on that wreck. Then I wandered in for a drink. An hour later, Trixie swaggers in bragging about her salvage. Ugh, the nerve of some people. Do you have proof of that? Uh, how did you mark this claim? I climbed on top of it and called out in my loudest voice. Finders keeper! <laughs> Gotta be freaking kidding me, dude. Really? <laughs> is is that legal? I don't know about legal, but it's legit by sublight standards. Assuming anyone was around to hear it, which we can't know for sure. Someone must have heard me. They just ain't brave enough to step forward and admit it. I mean, if no one was around to hear it, he... He technically still has a claim, but it's based off of almost nothing, so. Mark, good to know. Let's see uh, Trixie's side of the story. When I found the shipwreck, there were no salvage mark. See, the whole area was teeming with bloodthirsty marauders. So I snuck around and added my tag. Clear as day, so no drunken idiots could claim the salvage out from under me, Freddy. For the record, when I heard the marauders coming, I left. Trixie must have set her mark down after me. Well, if your story is true, then yeah, that's exactly what happened. Drum your fingers thoughtfully. Quit leading the prosecution, Hullhead. Anyway, that's my story, sir. What mark did you leave on the, on the salvage? I drew an X in the dirt. With my toe. <laughs> These guys are both stupid. <laughs> I have a dumb character, literally. Like, I'm doing a dumb playthrough of this. And I think these guys are dumber than me. <laughs> Let me see. Couldn't the Marauders have uh, walked over it by now? Or the wind blown it away? Wouldn't surprise me in the least. But that doesn't mean it ain't mine. In all my years, I've never heard a more contentious argument. I don't envy your shoulders for bearing the weight of responsibility. You've heard it from them both. So, who gets the salvage? Honestly, I don't think either one of them should. You know, for being dumb, this is probably the most fair. Let me see. Freddy claimed the salvage is his by law. Trixie, it's hers by law. As Sublight's vice president, I claim the salvage for myself. The I'm the vice president. That's what you get by uh, completing the uh, the uh, the Sublight quest line. These idiots don't know how to tag salvage, so I rule it in no one's favor. This is probably the only other alternative I would probably go with, because these two guys are freaking dumb. One of them yells at the top of his head, finders, keepers. The other one marks an X on the dirt, where it can easily get blown away or stepped on. Okay, so I, I think I'm going to just divide it in half. What? Well, obviously, it's just dumb. Just how in law's name are we supposed to divide a shipwreck in half? You'll figure it Freddy's out. Freddy's right. It's a shit plan. You want to maybe rethink that one? Um. I made my decision. I stand by it. Who in law's name is this joker, Lex? You really want to know who I am? You're vice president. That's oh, cool. Who. Now show a little respect before you get us all killed. You oh, I love that they... work together to figure this out or let the shipwreck gather dust. Your choice. Here's a six-pack on the house, plus your fee. Maybe now we'll finally get some peace around here for a change. I really like that they allowed me to pull rank. That was freaking awesome. Does this happen often? A little too often, if you ask me. That's the sublight way. Anything worth doing is worth fighting over. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I don't disagree... Maybe to a certain extent based on the context, but yeah, okay. Well, that's it. Uh, glad to be of service. See you around. Come and chat if you're ever feeling thirsty. Well, I mean, I kind of have to talk to you here in a second. These guys probably both hate me, but whatever. At least they get something instead of nothing. I've already been in there, huh? All right, so let's go upstairs. Bar po uh, patron. I'm assuming this is a bathroom. Nope, some sort of a living quarters. Ooh, who are you? You don't look like one of the salvagers, no? 
don't really seem like the type. What You've do got I look the look like? Of someone who's traveled far to get here and whose journey is far from over. Uh, what makes you say that exactly? Confidence. The scavengers around here, they're faking it. You're the real deal. And you know I that how? I don't know if you're bound for the old runes, but in case you are, can you look into something? I'd do it myself, but of course, the marauders would eat me alive. Uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose. Depends on what you need. Um, looking for something out there. Been paying Sublight to help me, but they haven't made much progress. This sounds like this something is valuable. It is to me, but apparently it's junk to Sublight. My husband and I worked on Gorgon during the good times. Jerome was on maintenance duty. I cleaned out test tubes till they sparkled. So where's... Where's Jerome now? Uh, I hope he's not no, dead. We're good, that's for sure. In his final hours, Gorgon was a war zone. Violence broke out in the labs. The hills were full of marauders. You couldn't take a leisurely stroll without an armed escort. When the order came through to evacuate, non-essential personnel drew a lottery to see who would board the first wave of ships. Jerome won. I lost. Aww. As soon as I wasn't looking, Jerome switched our tickets and pushed me to the front of the line. I got to leave. Jerome stayed behind. Oh. I never saw him again. That. That was pretty sweet, actually. That was very noble of him. That Jerome. Always chose the right thing, even when it got him killed. This place is greedy. Took my Jerome. And it would have taken me, too. I just want one thing back his old hip flask. I gave it to him the day we signed our marriage contract, and he carried it wherever he went. I know it's still here. So what do you think happened to him exactly? No point in denying it, he died on this rock. Likely torn apart by marauders, unless he took care of himself on his own terms. Aww. I don't like to imagine what happened, but I know I have to accept it. <clears throat> it's pretty sad, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I'll, I could keep an eye out for that flask, for sure. You'd really do that for me? Of course. Law, and I'll bet you're worth ten of those sublight sprats. I don't have much, but if you help me, there's a little set aside for the occasion. Jerome used to drink with his buddies in a small kitchen opposite the maintenance shed. Might be a good place to check first. Okay. Uh, let's see if she has any, any extra dialogue. Let me ask you something first. Yeah? Uh, tell me about your time on Gorgon. The lab coats kept quiet about the project, but the air was charged with excitement. You could feel it wherever you went. They wanted to change the world. A tenfold boost to worker productivity with no side effects? Who wouldn't salivate at the thought? I don't know what went wrong, but when the shit hit the fan, it sprayed everyone in its path, including me. Damn. Well, I'll be seeing you. I'll definitely keep an eye out on the stuff. You have a... Did you know your bin is empty, ma'am? You should probably know that. Bar patron, bar patron. Why'd you want to meet here? Anyway? All right. So there's nothing here. I guess we'll go back... Wait, there's still more upstairs. Did I already look in here? Huh. Who's this Ooh, stuff? Roscoe Clinton. They could... Nah, who am I kidding? What's up, Roscoe? Holy shit, a fresh face. Haven't seen your like in years. Don't know what brought you to the most dangerous corner of this solar system, pal. But you're welcome here. Oh, you talked to Lex yet? She tell you to keep it civil? You wouldn't guess to talk to her, but that lady's got a mean left hook. Actually, I haven't... Well, I mean, I guess I did kind of talk to her, but... Yeah, okay. So... You folks get into a lot of fight, uh, fist fights here, don't you? Me? Nah. Never been a pugilistic kind of guy. Did most of my fighting with a pen back when I did it at all. Nowadays, I just drink. At least Lex has got the good manners to let me do it for free. Okay. So you used to be some kind of a writer? Hey, whoa, no call for insults. We're all friends here. I was a <laughs> journalist, thank you. 
a contributing member of our great society. Got into reporting was... thinking I was going to be some sort of public intellectual. What a joke. Spent 95% of my time playing stenographer to the board, and the rest writing puff pieces on the chairman's latest beard trim. Real life and death shit. It's kind of sad that writing has been reduced to an insult in this universe. Uh, let me see. How, how did Byzantium journalists end up uh, stuck in this backwater place? When the project fell apart, Spacer's Choice refused to extract me. They left me here to rot. Aww. Listen, I hate asking for handouts, but my back's against the wall here. If you're going back out there, do you think you'd be willing to do an old bastard a small favor? Yeah, of course, man. What's up? Helping out old bastards is 80% uh, of my job. What do you need? Well, I've been trying to get away from this rock for five lobby-fucked years, but I can't stay gone. Why is that? Told you I was a journalist, right? I was here on a story back when Project Gorgon was active. I was doing an interview series for Spacer's Choice. Recorded them all on these little portable phonographs. But when everything fell to shit, Spacer's Choice wouldn't let me leave. In terms of my reporting contract unmet, they said. So... Just tell me what you want. I stashed my interviews around Gorgon when everything went haywire. And I have and to get it back. there's about five million marauders between me and them. Help me get my recordings back so I can finally get the hell out of here. Yeah. I got you, man. Uh, why stash the recordings? Someone had been trying to steal them since the day my assistant and I started interviewing. Couldn't even keep them in my safe. They always found a way in. So I took to hiding them all over the fucking asteroid. Thought I was so clever. What a fool I was. Good to know, good to know. Let me see. Yeah, why not just forget the contract and leave? Oh, I've tried. Make no mistake. I've caught a couple of rides out with sublight folks. But the board's fixers always send me right back. And I'm not about to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with marauders just to fulfill a line item on a contract. Yeah, today's your lucky day, Roscoe. I'll get those recordings for you as soon as I get an opportunity. No shit? That's downright civilized of you. All right. One of them I stash in the Office of Creative Incubation, in the projector room on the third floor. I gave another to my friend Birdie to keep in her apartment, just outside OCI's upper entrance. Okay, got it. Wait, why there? Seems like a good idea at the time. Someone had started a fire, folks were shooting other folks. It was a madhouse. Okay. Well, next. You'll find another in the chem lab. It's in the main lab storage room. Uh, you ran all over Gorgon just to hide your recordings, didn't you? Didn't have much of a choice. The primals had gotten loose, couple of them were chasing me. The recordings just ended up wherever I hid. I suppose that makes sense, but still. So, the others? The final one is in human inquiry and auditing. It's tucked behind a pipe in observation room B. Why the observation room? Wouldn't someone have seen you? What with the test subjects running loose, the researchers were surprisingly unobservant. Got it. All right. Well, I'll be back. Strength to your sword arm, friend. And thank you. I don't have a sword. I have a hammer, but... Hey. Whoops. Did you manage to find those? Not yet. Of course. But thank you for noticing. <laughs> right, let me see. Any other people to talk to? Bar patron, bar patron, bar patron, bar patron. So, nobody on this floor. Let's go upstairs and see if there's anybody else. Two more bar patrons. There's a lot of bar patrons here, aren't there? Ooh, I think I found the office. Definitely don't have 100. Requires code to unlock. That's interesting. I'm assuming that's going to be on the main part. Wait, who's this? I don't know. Can I? What's my thing at? All right, let's repair this. 
What about my armor? That's a 99. This one's an 87, so let's go ahead and rip. Never mind. I don't have enough armor parts. So definitely got to keep an eye out for those. Bam! My hammer's looking super pretty. Sick person. Oh, uh, don't want to see that. Okay. So I guess that's it. Let's go downstairs and talk to Lex, I believe is her name. 